First story here today, as I noted in the opening segment, WWE and Blumhouse Media announced. WWE and Blumhouse Media announced that they are developing the United States of America versus Vince McMahon, a limited run scripted TV series. So I guess it's not just going to go on forever. It's a limited run. It will be the, quote, first ever scripted dramatic portrayal of a chapter in WWE's history and, quote, the first scripted portrayal of McMahon as well as many of the legendary superstars of that era. Even though McMahon's all over Young Rock, which is a scripted portrayal of McMahon and many of the legendary superstars of that era. Well, we got to write something in this press release. Series will focus on the mid-90s and the then WWF, and specifically the steroid trial of 1994. From the press release, the show will delve into WWE during the 90s. At the time, Rupert Murdoch had purchased the New York Post to further his massive infiltration into the U.S. media landscape. For years, infamous Post writer Phil Mushnick regularly hammered WWE chairman and CEO Vince McMahon in his column. Headlines like legislators give WWE a free pass on roids and McMahon skips through the cemetery eventually captured the attention of the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, the nation's most prestigious federal prosecutor's office with a conviction rate of over 96 percent. In 1994, the U.S. government indicted McMahon for allegedly supplying anabolic steroids to WWE talent. McMahon, with his liberty at stake, two school-aged children at home, and with WWE on the brink of bankruptcy, refused to take a plea deal. Ultimately, McMahon stood trial and was acquitted unanimously by a jury of his peers and went on to build a multi-billion dollar global sports entertainment empire. From the WWE side, McMahon and Kevin Dunn will be executive producers of a show about his own trial. No TV streaming partner or anticipated release date accompanied the news. Project is the latest in a growing list of media about the WWE chairman. I wonder if they'll have the the part in it where uh, Linda McMahon got tipped off about George Zahorian and at the very last second they decided not to hire him officially to uh, appear in the locker room. And uh, anyway, that's the first story, everybody. That's the first one I thought of, too. Yes, he was. What what year was that again, Brian? Did that 1994, happen? they said here. School 1994. Age. You know, I have school age child right now. He's uh he's 13 years old. Um, if we're going with 1993, you said 1993. Uh, 94. Shane, 94. Shane McMahon would have been 24 years old. Stephanie McMahon would have been at that time. What? Uh, how old would she have been? Well, uh, in 1994, she's. Years? Dude, she's my age, so uh, yeah. she would have been uh, just getting out of high school. School-age okay. children. School-age children, yes. I guess uh, technically they didn't specify uh, what school, you know, graduate school, secondary school. Like, so I guess technically school-age is, is still fair. It's just out of the norms of what we would usually consider uh, school-age children, although there's going to be a lot of things in this that we don't consider uh up to its word i have a feeling um yeah how seriously can i really take this i i can't i don't take don't it take it seriously at all. at all not even a little bit is, is this going to appear on peacock or are they going for some sort of incredible well, I'm sure if they like, could get it on dude if they could get it on the main NBC, they would do it but yeah we got to find a... out if they can get a deal anywhere <laughs> now do you make this imagine. like a a roots level uh, mini series over the span of a week. Do we get this? No, nah, that's like, what uh, it says here, Mike. It says a uh, it says a a, uh, a limited run scripted TV series. Mm. Limited run. So it's that's, not going to go on for like nine years to cover one year. See, that sounds like a mini series right to me. That sounds like a mini series. Doesn't sound like. Wouldn't a, every a scripted TV show. series be limited run? Do we have an unlimited run TV series that I'm unaware of? Ah, meet the press. I guess is kind of. Simpsons at this point. Raw, of course, the the longest running episodic television show in cable primetime history or something like that. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.